And here I thought I wasn't going to get one of these. And you may be asking something crazy like, what's, what's these? What's one of these? This is a package. And you're entirely right, but... It's funny enough that I can tell what this is in the package, and I decided to do a video on it, and it's still in the package, so you can get my entire initial response to this very controversial blaster, because what's in this will not matter to probably all of you. And to some of you, you think it's the coolest thing ever, and I'm somewhere in between on that, because this is a type of blaster I've wanted for a very long time, and this is not the way I wanted this blaster to be done. That being said, I think I can fully appreciate what this is trying to be, and there's going to be a lot of talk and probably not a lot of uh, actual stuff going on with this. Because while it is interesting and very cool, it's not a competitive blaster. It's not even like a knockoff. It's just a terrible, terrible performer. And I'm going to open this up, and we're going to find out exactly what the heck Walcom is talking about. And I'm very surprised they shipped this in just ye old bubble wrap bag. Because this rather weighty blaster, I should say, is the Worker Wasteland Ranger. This is a 3D printed blaster that a lot of people are going to hate because they don't quite understand what's going on here. I do. And to be honest, even if I do understand this, I'm not quite sure this thing should exist. But it is, in fact, a breech-loaded pistol. And I'm super, super stoked for that. I just wish it was done in a much better way. But right off the bat, extremely comfortable and very cool looking. Very cool looking. The print quality is fantastic. I would expect nothing more from worker there are some slight little places right here where it obviously you know met up with lines and whatnot but it's oh it's just perfect and i can kind of tell i guess the front barrel is super glued on because there's a lot of that white super glue fog there so what does it do well it does in fact shoot darts but how does it work well you're probably going to pull on that and you're going to break that open and this is the kind of pistol that i've wanted in this hobby that for a very long time and for some reason hasbro has not given us. I don't know why I can't get either a revolver like the double strike or like, like take that mega blast or the tri blast or whatever it was. That thing was break action, but you still loaded the barrel. It was con completely pointless. And a lot of people went at this and went, it's completely pointless because if you really wanted to, you don't need to break the barrel. You could in fact just front load the darts. But the entire point of this is if you have multiple shells ready to go, then you could easily dump out the shell, put a new one in, close it up, fire it, break it open, dump out the shell, and so forth. If you only have one, which is all it comes with, then that's not really going to be anything for you. It's just going to be the, the, the front loader, essentially. And it does, in fact, have a ramrod tool in here. Ooh. Which is secured with a magnet. Ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. So you can kind of see right off the bat where this thing is interesting because a lot of engineering went into this. This reminds me very much of like one of those blasters or toys you would find on Thingiverse, but done by a company that knows their 3D printing. This is not any kind of crazy game tool. This is just a blaster, a toy, a novelty. And I'm pretty sure Worker didn't expect this thing to absolutely blow people away, but I think they wanted to try something different from their usual high-performance lineup, because there is a lot of weird stuff going on with this blaster that doesn't mesh up. But then that same thing could kind of be said for, like, the Worker Hurricane, because while that does work out of the box with double A's, it shoots absolutely horribly, but it's also one of the most powerful, if not the best, pistol in the entire Nerf hobby. This is not that. In fact, if anybody can make this thing good, I will be extremely happy, but I already know this thing is going to perform terribly. This was sent to me by NFStrike.com, which I thank them profusely for because I would never be able to get my hands on this because we need to talk about price before we actually see this thing in action. <laughs> I could feel it catch right there. This thing is like $50, if not a little bit more. 
for a blaster that performs about the way this one does, that's a terrible, terrible idea. Because you're about to see, I've not fired this thing, I've not seen one fired, I just know the way this shell works, it's going to perform terribly. That being said, it's cool. And it's very solid, it looks amazing, it feels good in the head, it is a well-designed blaster. And there is some good use for something like this, but if you're just looking for the next high-performance blaster to put out there, this is not it. This is a toy. This is something you keep on you that's visually and functionally interesting, something you can play around with inside. You can certainly carry it on you and potentially shoot people, and that would be kind of nifty, but it is by no means a performance powerhouse. And I think this is going to be funny. So it does cut. oh. Oh wow, okay, yeah, there's, there's like zero hold on that dart. <laughs> that might be a problem. Just a couple of things I was figuring out, because uh, this is kind of an involved video, but if you use an X-Shot dart, you can actually kind of click it in there, like that, and that's going to help you a lot. It might decrease your performance, but again, this is not something you really want for performance. But now it's not going to fall out no matter what you do, and it still fires okay. Does come with some extra rubber bands, which you can probably guess what the propulsion mechanism of this is already. Again, I have not fired it, but I am going to see how well it does through the chronograph here for its first shot. Hopefully it even fires. Drop the shell in there. Again, having some issue with dart fit on that one. I'm sure that's... Well, I wanted to get its first shot, but it just fired as soon as I closed the uh, breach. Did I, did I prime it somehow? How exactly do you prime this thing, I wonder? Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. Interesting mechanism. Very interesting. So, we're gonna load this shell up again. I do kind of wish they would have sent me multiple of these shells. I will probably pick up two or three more. I really wish that dart fit in there a little bit more though. I'll have to test some other darts to see if I can't get better performance out of it. Yeah, because it's just gonna fall out if I really want it to. So, a little bit of a spoiler there, but let's see what the actual FPS of this thing is. About jolt, in fact, I would say a little bit under jolt. We've got 43.6, let's give it another shot. Forty-seven point five. Not too shabby, but definitely not uh, <sighs> not what you'd expect if you were looking for performance. So honestly, my only real complaint on this right now is the fact that it doesn't really have a tight dart fit, which leads to the dart just kind of falling out the front of it. Really, what worker to do is to have this barrel click into place at the very front, so you can very easily one-handed anyway put that down, have it click in place, and dump out a shell, because that's kind of what happens when you try to dump out a shell right now. It doesn't need any kind of extensive, like, ex extraction piece or anything like that, but adding, like, some kind of physical little click into that hinge would be amazing, which it kind of needs because the shell is actually completely powered by rubber bands. It's got a pin in here that you can push out and you can twist off the, or no, I guess you can just twist off the bottom in general. Okay, and then you would just edit the, uh, and you could just change out the rubber bands or replace it with whatever, but let's just face it, this is never going to be that good of a system. And I'm a little worried about 3D printed threads like this, so let's hope nothing bad ever happens with that. But what this blaster is, is an amazing prop. If you run any kind of LARP that deals with nerf blasters or whatnot, you'll probably want one of these. And better yet, if you run like any kind of normal game mode, this could be an awesome thing to have because it could do a wide variety of things in a gameplay like scenario. But probably one of the coolest was you could have the blaster somewhere and the shell somewhere else and have players over a period of time, like an HVZ event, find the shell, somebody can get the blaster, they can fire it, and as long as there's a game master around, they, that could have an effect, like they could call in a helicopter or they would be told it calls in a helicopter or something like that, because it is basically a flare gun as a nerf blaster. 
Personally, ever since I had played Blacklight Retribution and they had, in that game, a breech-loaded pistol, and I've always wanted something like that in Nerf, because the, the little break-action pistol shotgun kind of thing is extremely neat to me, because I love that mechanism so much, but there's nothing like that in the entirety of the Nerf hobby. And if you wanted something like this for Airsoft, it's certainly done, because of course they have like, you know, grenades in Airsoft that are meant to go with like grenade launchers and underbarrels on rifles and stuff like that. They make little pistol blasters that can fire those grenades. And of course the grenades themselves usually either fire like a ball, like a stress ball, a Nerf rocket, or just lots of BBs like a shotgun. And that's what the one in Blacklight Retribution was. It fired a flare or an explosive projectile but one of the ammo types you could choose for it was the shotgun round, which made it the longest reloading shotgun in the entire game. But my gosh, was it cool. And that's what I've always wanted in this hobby. And the only thing that even comes remotely close is of course the sledge fire, but the sledge fire is huge. And I've just, it's never really worked for me the way I want it to. This is much closer, but of course the problem is that this thing just does not work. Now, it's always possible that somebody may do something goofy in the future and make like an actual shell like this that uses something crazy like green gas or CO2. And then you could get some potentially good performance out of it. But would that withstand, like, I mean, even if this was entirely metal in there, would that withstand it? I'm not quite sure. I mean, technically it should. Could the uh, actual trigger system right here even do anything? I wonder. But if you're interested in this kind of mechanism at all, if this is something that does inch, if you like this form factor and this, like it's, while it is 3D printed, it is extremely high quality. The color separation is fantastic. The mechanisms they have in place are ingenious. It works exactly how you would expect it to. The problem is it doesn't work very well as a projectile shooter. And I have no idea how I'm going to edit this video down to make it palpable for people to watch, but I really did enjoy this blaster. I think it's awesome, but I know exactly why a lot of people aren't going to like this thing, and trust me, I fully understand. I don't expect you to want to pick one up, but if you are interested in this and you can look over its flaws and maybe fix the dart falling out the front issue, that is really annoying. I wish it wouldn't do that. Then you can check out the link below to NF Strike where you can pick one up. I thank them again for sending this off to me. They did not pay me for it or anything. They simply sent me the product and asked me to do a video on it. And this was something I wanted to talk about because if you remember when the hurricane showed up, everybody railed on the hurricane. Nobody understood it. Everybody hated it. And now it's kind of hard to ignore because it is such a magnificent beast. This may have potential somewhere. I kind of doubt it, but it may have potential somewhere to be something somewhat usable. Not a lot of people are gonna have them and it's just a cool little conversation piece if you're going to a Nerf War and if you're organizing a game, this thing has a complete and utter awesome use that you probably could do with anything else but it won't be nearly as cool. I'm Wacom S7, thank you so much for watching this video. Of course, I hope to see you in something entirely different. You gotta